Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be creating three eyeshadow looks with the Carmi X Revolution Make Magic palette that looks like this and this one is the first look. If you like videos like this then it would help me a lot if you would subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday. You can also follow me on Instagram to see all of this kind of content but if you want to see how I did this one and the other two, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already went a little bit ahead on this eye. And now for this first look, I'm going to start by priming my lid with the Kiko Neutral Eye Base. this look I am not setting the eyeshadow primer. I have also already done my brows with the Kiko Precision Eyebrow Pencil. Okay so I'm going to start this look and I'm starting with the shade Free Hugs and I'm using this one as a transition. To blend this edge, I'm also using a little bit of confidence to kind of blend the upper part. Now, to deepen up my crease, I'm using the shade You Do You. This is blended, I'm just adding a little bit more of free hugs on top. Now I am going to deepen up a little bit of the outer corner and for that I'm using dark side. Really close to my lashes and dragging it out a little bit. I'm going to blend it in. I'm adding a little bit of free hugs on this outer corner. Just adding a little bit more of that black and blend it. Okay, for now that base is done and it's fairly similar. And now I am just going to do a half cut crease with concealer. And now this blue shade, it is this one called Under My Spell and I'm going to use my finger to press it on top of the concealer but then I'll use a brush to kind of define the edge of the crease. This is amazingly pigmented. Okay, foiled shadow. outer corner I am dragging it a little bit out and now I'm just blending this transition with a little bit of you do you now on my 
Eyeliner Waterline I've used the Kiko Everlasting Kajal and for mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. Okay, so that is the upper part of my eyes. I'm just going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back for the lower lash line. Okay, so now for my lower lash line, I'm going to use You Do You closer to the outer corner and then I will use Free Hugs to blend and kind of all over the lower lash line. I've also made it a little bit sharper with a makeup wipe now on my brow bone i've added a little bit of the highlighter i used on my face but for my inner corner i want to add this blue Drag it ever so slightly on the lower lash line. Now to complete the lower lash line, I'm just using again these two. This is the Revolution Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chauffeur. Okay, so this is the first look complete. Here is a close-up of the eyes. So yeah, this is what the eyes look like. The blue is really amazing and the matte also blended really nice. Okay, so now moving on to the second look. Okay, so for this second look, I wanted to do something a little bit more simple but then you will have a pop of color and to start I'm going to prime my lid with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and if you are wondering for my brows I have tested the full brow range from Lidl and I'll leave the link up on the cards there Now I am not going to set the concealer and for the first shade I'm using Addicted and first I'm going to focus it on my crease and more on the outer corner like have more depth there and then blending it into the inner corner to kind of make it more intense on the outside. Now I am bringing the color also on my lid, again starting with the outer corner to have more intensity there and then dragging it in. Now I am taking the shade Dark Side very, very lightly and very carefully because it's a black and I am putting it on the outer corner and gently bringing it to the crease that might be too much so I am going to blend with the other brush that I used with Addicted to kind of diffuse that out not to be too black it's just to kind of give it a little bit more depth i'm putting a little bit of addicted on top of it okay, so it looks more or so similar 
And now I'm going to do a winged liner. For that I'm using the Kiko Lip Milads Eyeliner. And I'm starting by creating the wing and then do the rest of the liner. Now I'm also adding the Kiko Everlasting Kajal on my waterline. And now on top of the eyeliner, like on the upper part, I'm going to smoke it with the dark side shade, but only from like this point in. And now to finish the upper part of my eye, I am adding mascara and I'm using the Kiko Standout Volume Buildable. Okay, so for now, for this upper part, that is it. I'm just going to do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back for the lower lash line. Okay, so now on the lower lash line, I want to do kind of the same thing that I did on top. I'm going to use the shade Dark Side close to the um, root of the lashes, like really smoking it out. I'm also going to use the Everlasting Gajal on my waterline. And then on the lower lash line, I'm going to blend it with the shade Addicted. Addicted, yes. So I'm going to do that. Now I am taking a really small brush with a little bit of setting spray and I'm using the shade Bite Me on my inner corner. Now I just gotta put mascara on my lower lash line And I'm going to pair this look with the Avon Mark Liquid Lip Lacquer Matte in Dare to be Bare. Okay, so here is a close-up of this second look and it can be really simple. Then with that pump of pink on the inner corner, I think that makes it very special. Okay, so this is the finished second look. I paired it with a very nude lipstick so that the inner corner would really stand out. So finally, moving on to the third look. Okay, now finally for this third look, I have already done my brows with the L'Oreal Unbelievable Brow Gel. And I have also primed my lid with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And the concealer is still wet. I've also put some tape and I'm now going to take the shade Confidence and I'm using this one as a really high transition. Really up to my brow. And I am also dragging it out. I'm going to start building my crease with the shade Flames and I'm doing it very little by little and because I have hooded eyes I need to do it 
a little bit above of where my crease sits so I can actually see it when my eyes are open. And I am also dragging this one out. And now for this kind of fake eyeliner, I'm using the shade Dark Side, that is this one. I'm starting really low also following the root of my lashes and then I'll build it up Also adding a little bit more of the shade flames on top. Okay, now I am going to do a half cut crease again with the Revolution Conceal and Define. Okay, and now I'm going to take my finger and I'm also using a very small flat brush to help around the edges, but I'm going to use the shade Moneymaker that is this really stunning kind of foiled gold. This works beautifully with the finger. then kind of close to this edge is a lot more easy to use a brush gives you a little bit more control on this side I kind of have a little bit of gold where it's not supposed to pressing a tiny little bit more now on this outer edge I'm just going to blend a little bit in of the black and the orange shade really just a little bit and here the black I'm also taking a little bit close to the lashes again So this upper part is done, now I'm going to remove the tape and we get that very sharp edge. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then come back for the lower lash line. Okay, so now my face is done for the lower lash line. I'm going to use a little bit of dark side on the outer corner to connect with the kind of fake eyeliner we did on top. And then I'm using the shade Camo to smoke out the lower lash line. And finally, closer to the inner corner, I want to use the shade Self Made. It's really just a little bit of that black to connect, but mainly I'm going to use the shade Camo. This is the shade Self Made. Now, finally, to just help blend a little bit of that green, I'm using the shade Confidence. Okay, so 
So finally, I'm going to use the Kiko Everlasting Kajal on my waterline, the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, and this is the waterproof version. And for my lips, I'm using the Kiko Dark Treasure Matte Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade 02 that is kind of a brick orange color that will pick up a little bit of the flames shade. Okay, so this is a close-up of the eyes finished. I really like the way that turned out. I think the kind of fake eyeliner is a nice thing and that gold really looks beautiful. Also goes really nice with the lipstick. Okay, and this was the final look of the Carmi X Revolution eyeshadow palette, one palette, three looks and I had a lot of fun creating these and let me know in the comments below which one of the three looks was your favorite. Mine, I mean it's kind of hard to choose, maybe the second look because I've never done anything like that but I also really like the colors of this one, it's more of a summer or fall look and the first look is also very colorful. And yeah, I still think there's a lot of different looks that I could do with this. Maybe I should have split this video into three different ones. This is probably going to be a very long video but I had a lot of fun doing it. Maybe you'll have a lot of fun watching it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it's free and it helps me a lot. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!